Hi everyone, it's Graham here, um, and today we're going to show you another uh, little self-catering accommodation which we've come to stay in. And this one's a little bit unusual because it's a houseboat. Uh, it's something I've always fancied doing, coming and staying on a houseboat. And this one is in Brundle, which is on the Norfolk Broads in Norfolk. And uh, it's called the Willow House. Hence the big tree there, big willow tree. So it's actually in a boat yard, as you can see, uh, and it does float. The owner said that some people asked if it floats, and yes, it does. So consequently, it moves about in the wind, and uh, with the this river is actually tidal. So um, it does rise up and down. So there's a sort of jetty to get onto it. And a little walk, wooden walkway. And you come up here. And when the tide's out, there's some steps to get onto it. Or if the tide's in, it's got like uh, a platform. Now you do have to step over that gap. So not really suitable for wheelchairs or anything like that. Uh, that's the first thing to say. Uh, the walkway goes around here and you do have people walking past going to their boats which, is, which are moored down here. But to be honest, um, we've, not, uh, we've not had a lot of trouble with that. There's one or two people walk past but it doesn't really affect us. Also included with the cottage, with the uh, houseboat, is a nice little sitting area. So Pauline's over there doing some craft. Give us a wave Pauline. There she is. Uh, so there's two reclining chairs, a table, four chairs and an umbrella. And up here there's a couple of little chairs. Um, and there was a coffee table with that and we've moved it down here. So, yeah, it's, it's nice for sitting out when the weather's nice. Um, the thing to mention about it is that with it moving about, it does actually, uh, during the night, you can hear it creaking and groaning sometimes, which, until you get used to it, it's a bit odd because it it sort of rubs against the jetty with the, the um, I don't know what they call them, those sort of rubber things there to stop it damaging anything. So it rubs against that as it moves about and, uh, and it makes groaning sounds. And if, if you're asleep at night, it, it can sort of uh, disturb you. Um, so all the windows, are on this side overlooking this part of the um, of the boatyard which is a shame because over this side you've got a bit of a nicer view you've got the water this side over here uh, so that's the back of it there there's just one window there and that's the bathroom window so it's quite big, it's two berth, um, and it's, it's lovely inside, we'll show you that in a minute. Uh, it's very, very decadent and uh, really posh. So yeah, it's called the Willow House. What else can I tell you about it? We'll go inside and have a look in a minute. I don't think there's much I can tell you about the outside now. Um, you have to park up in the car park, which is up there and then you bring your stuff down to the boat. So you can't park actually outside the houseboat. You have to uh, bring your stuff down, but they do pro provide a little trolley for you to put all your luggage on and everything so that you can uh, get out, uh, get your stuff down to the houseboat. So yeah, very friendly uh, people who uh, run the boat yard, Sonia and Steve. And Steve actually built this um, motorhome, uh, this motorhome, this uh, houseboat himself. So it's quite a, a nice, uh, 
a feat to, to do, isn't it? To be, you ought to be really clever to do something like that. So yeah, he built it all himself and it's really nice inside. So we're going to have a look inside now. And once inside, as you can see, this is absolutely amazing. Um, the big settee there. Little settee there. Big widescreen television, large screen television. Outside the window there is a lot of boats and things. Little table, two seater table. And the kitchen area is very nice. There's a four burner hob. Washer dryer. Large fridge. Oh, that's a massive fridge. And I think that looks like a freezer. Coffee machine. And some nice biscuits there they've left for us. So sort of welcome, welcome pack. What have we got in here? Lots of mugs, some Sunday glasses, various things. Wine glasses, yes, we need those, definitely. Got lots of glasses. Um, there's a radio. It is plumbed in. Um, it, there is running water. Um, the lady said that uh, some people ask her if there's running water, and yes, there is. It's uh, it's like a house, really. It's exactly like a house, although it's floating. Uh, some things under there, cleaning things and dishwasher things, etc. What have we got in here? Pots and pans, plates, I mean, dishes, and pots and pans in there. Over this side, another coffee machine, a toaster, various kitchen utensils, haha, <laughs> dishwasher, brilliant, just what I want. Saves me washing up. Oh, look at this. That's nutty. So we can get all this food and jars and cereal packets and things like that in there. And cupboard under there. Oven. Grill. And microwave. In here is the boiler, the hoover, some cushions, an iron, and look at this bedroom. Wow! Isn't that fantastic? Lots of wardrobe space, lots of cupboard space. Isn't that lovely? And another large television, so you can watch television in bed. And then, wait till you see this. Oh, there's a dressing table there. Dressing table, more cupboard space, wardrobes. And in here, the ensuite, look at this. Wow, wow, wow. That's a jacuzzi bath, so you can sit in the bath with lots and lots of bubbles. It's also got a shower attachment there. And the cottage, uh, the, uh, it's not a cottage is it? It's, it's a houseboat and it's called the Willow House. And it was all built by the owner, Steve. Uh, amazing, isn't that amazing? What a talent to build something like this. Apparently he's a boat builder by trade. And he built this all himself. 
So yeah, that's the Willow House houseboat. Also, just to mention, I'm walking down the jetty uh, away from the away from the houseboat, which is that over there. Uh, you can do a bit of fishing. In fact, you can fish anywhere on the boatyard uh, where you can find space. But I found this nice little spot right at the end here. Right at the end of the jetty here. And uh, I've been fishing here. This is my stuff. This is all my gear out. I've been doing a bit of fishing. Now, I'm no expert fisherman. Uh, but uh, I've caught about 10, 11 fish down here this morning. Uh, so, yeah, a few a perch. Um, I've, I've caught some roach and I, I think there might be some rud as well. I'm not sure of the difference between the roach and the rud, but yeah. So, a decent sized perch as well. So, yeah, there's a few boats come past here, but the boats don't come past the uh, houseboat unless there's one or two going out from this from uh, moorings just here so uh, it's fairly quiet as, as regards boats coming past or anything like that they just come they just come down here so that's it then folks uh, we've had a lovely week here and uh, on this willow house boat it's called the willow house and it's a houseboat and we've had a really nice time so uh, if you fancy this we booked it through host seasons and uh, we came in June uh, and it was I think it was around £800 and this is 2021 if you're watching um, if you're watching at any other time this is 2021 in June so hey, about £800 something like that so yeah, we've had a really nice time. So if you fancy this, it's called the Willow House Houseboat. And it's in Brundle in Norfolk. And you can book it through Ho Seasons. Okay, that's it folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And uh, if you like our videos, please subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Cheers for now.